Um, it's pretty slow right now. I got my stitches out about a week ago, um, and we've just been taking stuff kind of slow. We have, uh, like, two heel lifts in my boot right now. Um, each week we take one out to kind of take pressure off the stitches that are still healing inside of my um, leg. Um, I've been just doing some one-legged um, one legged stuff to strengthen my quad and my hamstring and uh, the muscles around my knee. Um, been doing, uh, still been weightlifting for upper body, um, doing stuff on my left leg. Uh, been uh, start start picking up marbles now uh, with my toes, putting them inside a putting them inside a cup, and uh, I've been uh, doing some movement on the bike, just kind of getting back into the motion. Yeah, um, nah, uh, they said, Tim G told me when it first happened, he said um, six to nine months is probably when I'll be, you know, back and, uh, you know, trying to, you know, full go. But right now, it's a pretty slow process, so. Um, it's pretty tough. It took an impact on me a little bit, but I couldn't really soak in it too much because, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. So, um, you know, I'm just take, making the best of this, and uh, this gives me another opportunity to stay here over the summer, continue to get better, continue to rehab this, and uh, make this strong. So. Yeah. Um, I, it's actually a funny story. I was, I was, uh, I was actually mad at one of our managers, Mo. Um, I felt like it was a loud pop. Um, and one of the coach said they heard it too. So, but we, our team, we we lost, um, we lost pretty bad in the drill before. So we had to run two twenty twos, and we're halfway through the first twenty two, and I felt a pop, but it kind of sounded like a ball was hit the back of my shoe. And so, I'm thinking one of the managers are like sliding the balls across the court, and so I fall and I look, I look back and I'm like, I'm like, yo, why would you throw a ball while we're running a twenty two right now? And he's looking at me like. What are, you, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I'm sitting there like now nah, I'm frustrated that we're going to have to rerun this 22 because I didn't make it. And so I'm just looking at him like, wow. like. <laughs> and so and then a pain came up on me like real quick. I grabbed the back of my foot. And then um, it went numb. And as soon as it went numb, and this all happened in a matter of like 20 seconds. Like it was real quick. And after it went numb, I kind of realized like something was wrong. And then I told Timmy G I heard a pop when he came to check on me. And, and it's numb, and he kind of knew what was up too. So it took me took me off the court, and then he assessed me um, in the training room. You mentioned still being able to do some you know, upper body yeah. strength work and things like that. I guess what what kind of progress have you been you know doing that sort of work with Coach Marshall? I mean, set any personal records or anything? Or just, I mean, yeah, nah, not not right now. Still, a, I can't really fully like do anything like you know with heavy weight just because like for example like a bench press you know it's, even though you're using your upper body you still dig into the floor with your feet and I'm kind of on one leg right now but yeah we're just doing stuff just to maintain strength right now not really trying to gain anything until I can get you know at least these two hill lifts out of my boot so I can actually really like kind of walk like if you see how I walked in here I kind of limp because of the uh hill lift so uh, but everything's just kind of maintaining strength, maintaining my physique, uh, still on my diet, tough, um, and just maintaining, uh, you know, maintaining, you know, just the, just the way I look. Have you been injured before? Did you have something? Nah, <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah. This, uh, the only thing I had was a, uh, I dislocated my finger at the Rutgers game. Uh, we played at Rutgers Park for Adidas Nations. That was it. So this is my first big injury. Um, I talked to my uh, my high school coach, um, but me and him kind of we kind of kind of think alike. So uh, I'm kind of a uh, I feel like I'm a pretty strong minded dude. So I mean, when it happened, um, it wasn't really too much I can do. I just you know, like I said, everything happens for a reason. Um, it's all in God's hands. So I really just you know, kind of just try to look at the good side of everything, and you know, make the best of my opportunities. Terrell, what's it been like having your silver side now? Going through all this, working hard, and yeah. having to watch your team play through these games, that you want to be out there. All yeah, um, no, nah, that's that's probably the toughest part. Just seeing, you know, what I can do. Um, not, it kind of hurts. Like I'm not out there with my team, so 
Um, like the Purdue game, we were going against Haas. You know, we got J-Mo guarding them. So, um, and then the Ohio State game, they got another big, good big. So just being out there trying to, you know, contribute, I feel like I feel really helpless on the sideline. So I try to do as much as I can, you know, cheering my team on. But like I said, I only go so far. I wish I was actually out there, you know, and contributing to, um, you know, the wins and the losses. Besides cheering your team on the bench, what, what else do you try to do to kind of stay involved with the team? Um, I just talk to the team a lot. Right now, um, I've kind of been focusing on school, really. So, um, you know, being um, at practice physically hasn't been really an option in, like, the Ohio State game. Um, I wasn't there because just due to school, and then I'm um, just trying to, you know, stay on top of that as much as I can right now. But um, just talking to my guys, you know, in the locker room after losses, before games, um, if, if in, even about, like, the Ohio State game, just talking to them before they leave, the, the shoot around before they leave, just letting them know that, you know, we should play hard, stick to our, Coach Archie's uh, game plan and what he has laid out for us. And then, you know, and at the end of the day, just play hard. Um, I just want to. I just honestly want to get back to how it was in high school. I, since I've been to college, uh, I felt like I got away from my game in high school. Um, I just want to be more aggressive on the offensive end and defensive end. Uh, I just want to play more freely. I just want to um, have have more fun on the court and just enjoy the game. I, me and my high school coach was talking, and this is probably uh, like a mental check for me to get back to you know loving the game, always being in the gym, working on my game. Um, I felt like when I got to college, I became one-dimensional, just doing one thing. And so me and him had like a long conversation about, you know, getting back to, you know, that, that love of the game, like a kid's love, you know, being always in the gym, working on my game, not being one-dimensional, showing people that I can do more than one thing. But besides, you know, post up, you know, if I can, you know, run the floor, play defense. And he told me that he's going to come up here and do something bad to me if I don't show people I can shoot the ball. So <laughs> I got to, you know, just continue to work on my game and bring the love back to the game. So, yeah, um, I felt like I started off strong, um, and then probably a month in just before I got hurt, you know, I was kind of in a little slump. My minutes started to drop. Um, so, I mean, overall, if I had to grade it. It probably my season was probably a, a D season, coming off of last year, which was like an F season. So not that too much, you know, too much improvement besides my conditioning. But like I said, I'm gonna continue to work, um, continue to get this healthy, continue to build my conditioning, and continue to build my body so next year I can come back stronger and uh, faster. Um, he, he's, a, he's a real big factor, but it's not just Coach Fisher, uh, Coach Art, Coach George, Coach Greg, um, all them guys, they've all been reaching out to me. Um, they all play a big part in my, uh, you know, in my inner circle um, with my family. I've been knowing them dudes for a while. So, But um, Coach Danny, I think, you know, me and him have a special relationship just because I, he coached me in um, high school and before that AAU, so I've been knowing him for a while. Um, but like I said before, you know, he just wants me to, you know, get back to that, you know, love of the game. He feels that he feels like even though I did lose a lot of weight, uh, I still don't work as hard as I could. I could, you know, outside the court, you know what I mean? Like on my own, um, doing extra stuff. So, I mean, and for him to say that and him not even be here kind of, you know, it's like a reality check. Like, OK, it, he sees it on the court, you know what I mean? Just because he knows me. So. I feel like if I can get back to, you know, like I said, the love of the game and how hard I work outside the court, um, not just, oh, in the off season when nothing's going on, just like, oh, after games, what am I doing before and after games? So just get back to that. Um, I, feel, I feel like I have a better season next year.